tonight here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. What a playoff series this has been so far. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Denies it in front. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blown, stopping the play. This is certainly not how you want to start a game. You're behind the eight ball. you got to kill off a penalty, and you got to find a way to gain some momentum. A few extra seconds now. Play is blown dead with the offside. Couture is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. St. Louis takes a hold of the puck in the neutral zone. Great hits up there with the stick by Vlasic. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Picked up along the wall by Benny. Feeds the puck across to Vlasic. Almost, almost out of the box. The Sharks PK unit delivers on that. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Takes it from the right side. Big time hit in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Great read with the stick. San Jose's got the puck. Pass to Eklund. And he avoids the poke check with some great edge work. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bennington. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The game is still scoreless. Faxes gain possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Kapanen's carrying it ahead. Puts it on that. Oh, and there's a great save by Benichick. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Trafali's gaining momentum. Blocked him in the open ice. Denied by the goaltender. are ready to go and we're about moments away from puck drop the Blues start with the puck in their own end gets it over to Kapanen St. Louis has the puck and he takes the dish take it along the wall by Rita Goodrow's moving the puck through his own zone San Jose is going on the attack as they gain the zone. From the point, they take control of it. Too much congestion in front. They gain the zone from the left side. Fires it. He scores! It's Let's just jump. 
dealt to a one nothing lead as we approach the midway mark of period number one. Well, I really feel like they've set the pace throughout this game so far, James, and they get the opening goal midway through the period. It's about settling in. It's being about a wave, utilizing all of their lines, and they've created a ton of energy. It's just a matter of time before they get the next one. Easily turned away with a glove. Vanna checks off to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. Nice job tying up his opponent. Stops him with a glove! Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. The Blues win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. The Sharks play it along the wing. Puck grab by Coonan. San Jose is going to play it from the corner. Scooped up along the wall by Costin. Moves the puck. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. St. Louis has been the better team offensively. More shots and as a result, more goals. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. Wenberg's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity. That's courage in finding a way to compete and roll your way to the net. Well past the midway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Works it across to Crew. They've got a two on one. Across the line. Shot. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, my goodness. What a save. Dishes it to Sunfist. The Blues cross the blue line and are on the attack. Oh, gets a piece of it with the club. Moves it to Granlin. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Oh, that goes just wide. I think he had more time than he thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick and he misses wide. Shuts him down. Oh, what a smart heads up play. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Moves it quickly over to Torchenko. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Vanacek's been outstanding, tracking pops and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Bennington. The Blues gain possession. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Thomas wins possession in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Takes a shot. Oh, how did that stay out? Oh, I don't even know how he made that save, James. That was all but in the net and complete desperation and complete level to make that one. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. San Jose's got the puck in the corner. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Vanacek's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. Didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of the zone. The Blues have it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Broberg. Handles it along the blue line. Takes a shot, and he shuts the door on that. St. Louis is on the attack. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot, and that goes off the glove and will play on. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. With possession along the wall. San Jose sliding the puck behind the net. Unloads it! Great reflexes there. San Jose's won the.
the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Peddington's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Fax has won the draw deep in the defensive zone. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Charlotte, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Sharks had a strong period, James. I really like the first 20 minutes, their effort. They're under a lot of... And as they say in street hockey, It is a new game, and it's never over, right, James? Because they've been behind in this game. They've been chasing it. But now they tie it up, and you can certainly feel the energy created with that goal. San Jose's been right there with them all night long. And look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. Dumps it in. The Sharks have it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Here's a chance. Oh, great save right there on the play. And he slides it quickly to Kairou. Oh, and gives up the body as he lays out for the block. What a selfless play. What a save there, using the trapper to snare it into his chest. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Shen's quick stick off the draw wins possession. St. Louis gains the zone and on the attack. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And the puck's not loose. The Sharks have played from the defensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good use of the body on the play. And he coughs it up with the pass. Pareko's loving the puck. Tries to get it over to Shen. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. St. Louis wins possession right off the draw. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. And they win the defensive zone face-off. Quick pass across to Neighbors. Tries to get the puck to Torpchenko. And that's intercepted by Costin. Passes over to Wenberg. Quick feed to Vlasic. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Falk. Redirected, big time stop. What a fantastic save from a high range of scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Neighbors. Score! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Ah, uh, he will, James. The playoffs, he's just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Locked in goaltenders today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position to make themselves as big as possible. Idea being you want to
to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. St. Louis has to be feeling good about their game right now here in period number two as they've gone ahead by one. Yeah, and it's not about playing safe anymore. It's about going after it, James, and it's an attack mentality. They've got the lead now. They've got to find a way to be first and urgent on the puck. Quick pass to Ruda. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Moves it to Eklund. And he gives it over to Toffoli. The Sharks carry it along the wall. And that's blocked in traffic. St. Louis has it near the wall. Here they come up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Here's a chance. And there's the save. Gets the puck over to Letty. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Still keeps a hold of the puck. A little rock and suck him on the play. Oh, just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. And the puck's kicked free. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And let's see what the call is. Coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often and it's clearly having a factor in the game. on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Torpchenko's got it on the offensive end. Quick shot! Oh, tried to put it on the corner and just missed that one. Well, hockey is a game of inches and a great shot just misses. Picks it off in the offensive end! San Jose has been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Past the midway mark of the frame, St. Louis has a 3-1 lead, and their fans 
who made it down for this one are loving it. Thomas wins the draw on their own end. Pareko stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Goodrow. And that's a great heads up play by Smith. Oh, to the eyes of the play! Um, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Face off looming as both centers get into position. St. Louis has it in their own end. Cut sent over to Bushnevich. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And that one's picked off. Quick feed to Broberg. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Broberg's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. He tried to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Feeds it on over to Kairu. And he's ridden off the puck. Angles it over to Saad. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Gaining steam here on the attack. Great forecheck by Eklund. Quick pass to Ruda. Unleashes a cannon. Answered the call on that play. Bennington's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong by the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Strong use of the body. San Jose's got it along the wall. Answers it with an even better save. Picked up along the boards by Joseph. Now a quick pass to Shen. Second intermission approaching quickly here. And he keeps possession. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Takes the feed. Moves it to Kunin. Blocked in traffic. Feeds it to Joseph. And sends it just out of reach. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. San Jose is trailing in the game here in the third period, James, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort or not buying into the game plan. I feel like they've been urgent. They've been skating well, and of course, they've dominated possession time. It's just a matter of having it translate to offense on the scoreboard. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. San Jose's got it from behind the net. The Sharks take it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Moves by the check. Oh, it just gets a and rings the iron. St. Louis has held the bulk of the play and had a ton of opportunities. When you keep putting it off the frame, though, you give your opponent some life, and it can switch the momentum. They'll want to execute, but the good part is they're still in the lead. We're still in the early stages of this period. St. Louis is enjoying a 3-1 lead to this point. Couture's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Let's it go. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. 
First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Dumps it into the ozone. Slides it to Granlin. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. And that's deflected. Quick feed to Eklund. And it's a quick pass to Couture. And that's snapped away in the defensive end. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Oh, we're going to have to check that one out again. It was just spectacular, James. When you're out competing your opponent, you're dialed in. You're so athletic, you make those kind of saves. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Blues take possession off the face-off. Moves it on over to Kapanen. Puck picked up by Brewer. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass to Grunstrom. And he slides it quickly to Sederman. And that's taken away on the offensive end by Kapanen. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. And he's knocked off the puck there. And he dodges the puck check there. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, what a chance here! Gains his own! And that rush is broken up with a great defensive effort there. Saad's got it in the defensive end. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Tremendous reflexes as he makes the one cover save. San Jose is moving it up the ice. Sends it into the offensive zone. Pareko's got the puck in his own zone. The Blues take it across the line. Saad's gonna play it from the back of the cage. And that one's stopped. Handles the pass. And now he moves it to Goodrow. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Hammers him into the boards. Poked away by Ruda. San Jose's got possession of the puck. Fires it on net, and he keeps that one out. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. They go on the attack from the left side. Puts it on net, turned aside with the glove by Benedict. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blues have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Granlin's won it in their own end. And he takes the pass. Toffoli's taking it from his own end. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's gonna continue to be a target if his head is down. That was amazing! What a save by Bennington. He carries the puck up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Wow! What a stop by Benedict! Grabbed along the board by Koenig. Fires it! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. the draw they win possession. Moves it to Joseph. Paul Chenko swooping in on the attack. Center and he scores! What an opportunity and delivers! I love this snapshot.
brought them in tight chains that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. They continue to apply that pressure. They're applying the pressure and they've dominated the game right from puck drop. I mean, their opponent has no answer or any pushback because of the way they're playing. Moves it quickly over to Torchenko. Broken up with a little physicality. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Here in the back half of this period, St. Louis has taken a three-goal lead. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Huck possession right off the draw, James, against a very tired group who just iced the puck, leads to an opportunity. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Kairou. Sends the pass over. Can't maintain position. Save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a 4-1 game. San Jose's won the draw. Picked up along the wall by Goodrow. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. Takes a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Blast from the point! Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Takes the feed from his own end. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Still has possession. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Nice poke check. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Feeds it over to CeCe. San Jose's in now. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Tries to feed it over to Shen. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. Along the wing up the neutral zone. And that's broken up by CeCe. Poked away at center by Saad. Dangle the puck skips away. Shen's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on the stick. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Taken along the wall by Torchenko. Comes over the make ball save! Takes the feed. Across the line from center. Here's a shot off the inside of the iron and will play on. St. Louis has had puck possession and generated a ton of opportunities in the offensive zone. They ring another one off the post, and this can be frustrating, but they have to stick with the game plan because they are in the lead. Electrifying so far, we will see you at the next broadcast. For sure, I'm James. Good night.